Hey guys, I hope you're as excited as I am. Here we are. It is spring, baby. Not really, actually, here in North Texas, but I'm pretty excited because we got a whole nother year coming of fly fishing starting right here where I am in North Texas and all the way throughout the state. This is the first Texas fly fishing report for 2021. I am just uncontrollably excited. I'm not on the schedule to get a shot, but a lot of people I know have already gotten their shots, maybe one or two. So we're going to knock this virus out and we're going to hit the road. I just can't believe that a year has gone by. I've never felt better in the last year than I feel right now as far as really actually feeling great. And man, we're going to hit the road this time. None of this sitting around wearing a mask anymore. Let me tell you what, the, what else is going on before we get into the report because I'm going to be firing some videos at you fast and furious. Um, I've got, and I've got a list right down here I'm looking at. So if you see me looking down, it's not because I don't love you people. It's not because I don't love you. It's just because I got a list so long I got to look at it. So one thing I want you to do right now is get online and order this calendar right here. Texas Saltwater Fishing Magazine's uh, calendar is what you need to get so that you can know all the phases and tides. Get this calendar online. It's worth its weight in gold. And it doesn't weigh that much. It really doesn't. Go get you one. Texas Saltwater Fishing Magazine. If I said fly fishing, that was wrong. Fishing. And that magazine's undergone a little bit of a, of a redesign. It looks pretty dang good, actually. So get you one of these calendars and live by it partially live by what I tell you too all right that's that um, I'm gonna tell you that we've got a couple of micromanaged fly tying videos I micromanage that. that's the only way I know how to say it videos about how to tie flies with certain components so we know how to tie flies I hate making fly tying videos as you might have heard um, but they're stupidly popular so i don't know i guess there's a lot of guys that that's all they want to do but that's not me so that's that now when it comes to flies for this spring i want you to go find danny scarborough and order brass hawks so there's a link down in the description to get a hold of danny or go see his video to tie your own brass hawk get you some of those tie you some of those however you do it we're going to be throwing those a lot this year just to see if Danny knows what he's talking about. I know he does, but I'm just kidding. But anyway, brass hawks, make them. And don't, if you, if you go by a video, uh, if you go by watching a video, his video is the one you want to see. His, his hooks are the right size. That's what you want to go with. These flies for carp are small here. You go up north to, to the Great Lakes and they're bigger, but down here they're small flies. Keep that in mind when you're fly fishing for a carp. Man, we're flying along now. I'll be in Houston next week. Um, I'm looking to start my lakes tour and it's gonna start hopefully, if, I, if it doesn't rain, I'm not gonna take the boat if it's gonna rain. I'll just do some pond action. But if it doesn't rain, we'll take the boat going to Somerville next week. And that, that hopefully, that will happen based on, of course, weather conditions, which are very unpredictable right now. In North Texas, we've got a, a battle between what seems like spring and winter going on, where it's, it's hot and cold in the same day, and then hot again. And right now, the wind's blowing about 30 outside, so that's why we're inside. It's so windy out there. Crazy. To give you guys an idea of the state of Texas, you got to pay attention. Um, the action always starts further south, guys. I mean, I've been telling you that. Texas is a freaking huge state, so that means you got to, down south, it's starting up. Sand bass in the rivers and then in the lakes, it's starting. But down south, up here, we're behind. It's at least one to two weeks, at the, I mean, at least. So. Let me tell you what happened up here. We've got dead trees all over town. Hey, if, you need a, if you're local and you need a chainsaw blade sharpened, you come to me, I'll sharpen that blade for you. I do sharpen chainsaw blades. Uh, <laughs> shameless self-promotion. Anyway, it was minus one degrees here at the house. That's one below zero Fahrenheit here in Denton, Texas. We had freezing temperatures for extended periods. That brought the water temperatures down on the lake. The edges froze on the lakes um, up here. 
so down south you go further south not quite as bad one caveat is the gulf coast inshore took it pretty hard it took it pretty darn hard and we don't even know yet tpwd i guess is still doing their counts and whatever they do um to uh to delay the inevitable everybody wants to go by the numbers but let me tell you the visuals are bad for the coast um, that being said you need to go to and subscribe to for saltwater and you can translate this into fly fishing plus there's a guy there that actually fly fishes so he doesn't talk about it a lot because he thinks he's i don't know why he didn't talk about it but anyway scott Knoll, bite me podcast subscribe to that listen to those podcasts they tell the truth here's what i want you guys on the coast to do and anybody wanting to go to the coast from now until the end of the year catch and release only please do not keep fish let's just catch and release it's not going to hurt you go buy your fish from from heb they got i was in heb in spring texas the other day and they were selling buffalo now, i've never seen that in a in a in an actual meat market but they were selling buffalo so you can find the fish you need and they had trout and everything a whole trout so come on guys just let the the gulf coast rest for the rest of the year all the way through until 2022 let's reassess and take stock and see what's going on so i've told you about the brass hawks told you about the calendar um and i'm telling you it's not quite spring here in north texas so i know you guys are getting antsy every time the temperature goes up sorry what you want to do is hit my phone number text me and then i'll put you on the text list and it'll be a group text that i don't i don't sell these numbers or any of that you'll go on a group text where the latest information will go out via text from me to you on what's going on here in north texas and and, and if you want I'll include you on the travels too, like Somerville next week. I don't know anything about Somerville; never been there. I know it's a, it's got some hybrid and it's got some some fish that are that are actually approachable. My my approach this year is to hit a lot of lakes if I can uh, find the time for that, and then report back to you because I've never done that. And and this conditions are right this year to go ahead and I've had this on my brain for a long time. And finally, my body, my body's breaking down, but my brain's still going really good. And speaking of breaking down bodies, what you got to do for me is if you're getting a little bit older and you're feeling a little stiff, do some yoga. Yoga is great. I've started doing yoga, yoga for fly fishers. I'm going to come out with a video, hopefully, in the, sometime in the next month and a half that is maybe 10 extra yoga moves for fly fishing specific movements so that's going to be interesting i'm going to i'm going to actually find a professional yoga instructor and get her to uh him or her probably her to uh come up with a program just for fly fishers so look for that video i'm telling you there's a lot of videos that are going to come fast and furious yeah and then what else do we have i'm working on a book a micro little my book or booklet uh, specifically on North Texas and, and Lake Ray Roberts carp because I get a lot of questions over and over again it's gonna be a small book starting this year I'm starting to write it and photograph for it so if you guys book trips with me you will probably end up being in the book photographs wise who knows I'm, if, you, if you're crazy enough there might even be a story so that's coming a, a micro book there's more kind of stuff like books going on behind the scenes that I can't talk about right now but um it could be a huge distraction um going forward for the next couple of years so we'll see how that turns out i'm working on it um and we'll just have to see now another thing that i get more contacts from you guys and and uh, discussion questions from you on my hat than anything else far none anything else that i've ever had or shown or whatever everybody wants to know about my hat well here it is in its new form this is a sun body hat these guys import into houston texas man that has one ugly hat to start with for flat brim beardos so i'm not a flat brim beardo i will never be able to grow a beard since radiation 
and uh, so I would keep the flat brim. That's ugly, isn't it? That is ugly. So this hat, it's stuck. I'm gonna show you what it ends up like. This is a brand new one, and you can find this down in Fort Worth. If you hit me on contact, I can find, tell you where to go to get these for $35. $35, five inch brim, five inch crown. Very, very hard to find in person in Texas. But they've got them down there in Fort Worth in the stockyards. And if you hit me on a question, a uh, comment on this video, I will tell you where to go. And here's what, here's why I got a new one. This is what they end up like. They end up, this is about seven years worth of wear and tear. I patched the, patched the roof. You got to, you got to paint the brim underneath to, to prevent reflections and distractions. Uh, so we're starting out with a new hat this year. That tells you, I almost bought two hats, but what happened is, I started thinking about all these estate sales I go to when guys die and they got a brand new hat in the box. I don't want to be one of those guys. I want to use it, wear it out, and get another one. So they're so inexpensive. $35 for that hat. Can you believe it? So hit me and I'll tell you where to go to get it. That's less than you pay at the Sunbody website. So thanks for watching, guys. One last thing. If you don't read the scroll, you won't know, to know that. TPWD has has bumped their ratings on these lakes. Um, they're not they're not precisely correct. So in general, what you need to do is if it says good, think fair. If it says fair, you think poor. Bring every every rating that you see on these lakes and you read down one notch, and you'll be you'll be much happier because. I think there might be some kind of, well, there's always some kind of financial motivation for, for overrating the, the spring pop and spring break and uh, just the economy of, of fishing in general um, and the economy of Texas Parks and Wildlife Department's gate fees and parking fees um, to get people to come out. Spring has sprung down south, guys. It has not sprung here yet watch the scroll thanks for watching there's a lot more coming man i mean a lot this fly tying stuff is going to take up a little bit of space check out denny scarborough brass hawks get you a dozen of those and tell him i sent you thanks for watching guys and we'll see you soon if not next week probably the week after that hopefully we'll have a video from somerville coming at you